Pastor Michael, pastor of Seed Harvest Church, let's have a word of prayer and get right into today's study. Father, we thank you, Lord, and praise you, Lord, for the word that goes forth today, Lord. We ask that it work in the hearts and minds of those who hear it, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's word comes from Proverbs 4 and 23 and reads, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Did you know that keeping or guarding your heart can be as simple as watching the words that go into your heart? Some words bring grief, pain, fear, and so on. Other words bring peace, faith, and life. If you are on your guard, you can choose which words enter into your heart. Let me give you an example out of the scripture. 1 Samuel 17, 9 through 11, describes the words of Goliath when Israel and the Philistines were preparing to battle. Verse 9 starts with Goliath saying, If any is able to fight with me and to kill me, then we will be your servants. But if, if I prevail against him and kill him, then you shall be our servants and serve us. And the Philistines said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard the words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Notice that the scripture says that when they heard those words, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now a little later on in that same chapter, Goliath says the same words and David hears them. Verse 23 says, as David talked with them, behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spoke according to the same words. And David heard them. Now, even though David heard the same words, he does not allow fear to enter into his heart. In fact, he encourages Israel. He says in verse 32, And David said unto Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go up, will go, and fight with this Philistine. If you haven't or have backed off guard in your heart, let me encourage you to have faith in Proverbs 4, 23. And take the word of God and read it, study it, meditate it. Allow it to be the words that bring faith, peace, and life to you. Remember, we love you and God bless.